before they reach the station. Later, as they were having a long drink at the water towers, they suddenly heard a commotion. What's the matter, Thomas asked. It's another fire at the workman's hut, replied Thomas's driver. We better see what we can do. The fire engines had a big problem. We are completely out of water, cried a fireman. We can't use seawater because it clogs our works. You'll just have to let that building burn. Then Thomas had an idea. Why don't you use the water in our tanks? We've just refilled them. The firemen wasted no time. You're very clever engines, chuckled their drivers. Soon the fire was out, but the hut where the workmen lived was destroyed. The men can't sleep on the beach, said the foreman. What about old slow coach? She would be perfect for the workmen, said Percy. Comfy, too, added Thomas. What a good idea, Percy, said his driver. They phoned Sir Topham Hatt, who agreed. She'll be spick and span by the time you collect her. And she was, and very happy, too. I can't thank you enough. I feel splendid. The engines buffered up to her, and she set off happily for her new home. Everyone agreed there was nothing old or slow about Coach, and she will always be really useful indeed.